Hi everyone, my name is Angie and I'm a Toronto Zoo Greater One Horned Rhino Keeper. We are talking all things rhino today and this video is covering a very important behavior that all five species of rhino do participate in, but it is the three Southeast Asian species of rhino, which are the Greater One Horned or Indian Rhino, the Sumatran Rhino and the Javan Rhino that do it the most. The behavior is called wallowing. This is Vishnu, the Toronto Zoo's adult male greater one-horned rhino, and he is demonstrating how he likes to wallow in his natural muddy pool. All three Southeast Asian species live in heavily dense jungle forests and or woodland areas that are adjacent to a body of water, like a river, lake, or stream. It is hot and tropical in this location, and when you weigh anywhere from 2,000 to over 4,000 pounds and cannot swim, you need to find a way to cool down and get out of the heat. Wallowing is just the thing. Whether the rhinos are rolling in the mud or soaking in a river or lake, being wet is very important for these three species. As I mentioned, rhinos do not have the ability to sweat, which is how we humans are able to regulate our body temperature. So rhinos need an alternative way to relieve themselves of their body heat. Staying submerged in a cool lake or river not only helps the greater one-horned rhino to cool off, but also gives them some relief from biting bugs and even protection from getting a sunburn. These three species of rhino are considered to be semi-aquatic and have been known to swim very well. The Southeast Asian species of rhino are considered to be solitary, which means that for the most part, they would prefer to live by themselves. You can often find mothers and calves together and occasionally groups of unrelated females will congregate to feed or share in a water space peacefully. It is often the lone territorial male who can spoil a relaxing water rest, especially if there are other adult males in the area. Wallowing provides the opportunity to rest, digest, cool down, and have some sun and bug relief. Rhinos are covered in a very thick layer of skin that is filled with tons of blood vessels and nerve endings, which means their skin is actually quite sensitive. Having all of those blood vessels at the surface of their skin is why biting flies are such pests to rhinos. The flies will start to chew on the rhino's skin and after very little effort, reach the blood they love to feed on. Being submerged reduces the area that the flies have to feed on, which is a momentary relief for rhinos. But what happens when you have to get out of the water to feed? That is where being covered in mud is helpful. The mud will cling to the rhinos as they exit the water, and as they start to dry, the mud hardens, giving the rhino an extra layer that the biting bugs will have to work a little harder to get through to their tender skin. It's important to make sure all skin surfaces are covered. Javan rhinos and Sumatran rhinos are considered to be the most critically endangered large mammals on the planet. With only 72 Javan rhinos and only 80 Sumatran rhinos, learning how these elusive species wallow has been a mystery until recently. Camera traps set out by the Rhino Protection Units of Indonesia have recorded some amazing wallowing footage. Javan rhinos are now only found in the Ujan Kulon National Forest on the island of Java. Javan rhinos not only have rivers to wallow in, they also have the Indian Ocean to swim in, as this Rhino Protection Unit discovered while monitoring the ocean side of the National Forest. It is amazing to see how easily this two-ton animal can escape into its jungle forest home and not be seen in just a few steps. Sumatran rhinos can be found in mountainous areas of Sumatra, where access to a body of water is not readily available. All five species of rhino do have the knowledge of how to dig their own wallows and are able to do so by using their strong forelimbs to pull the mud to the edges of the pit. Add a bit of tropical rain and the rhinos are able to create their own muddy bath. Sumatran rhinos are unique in that they are covered in a coarse hair all over their bodies. Having that hair gives the mud something extra to stick to, giving these rhinos even more protection from pesky insects. The forested rhinos not only have biting flies to deal with, but also ticks and leeches, so good mud coverage is a must. This Sumatran rhino footage is not actually of a wild Sumatran rhino, but one who is housed at the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary, a facility built in cooperation with the Indonesian governments and the International Rhino Foundation to help the dwindling Sumatran Rhino population from going extinct. But what happens when you live in Canada in the winter time and can't use your muddy wallow because it's frozen? You lay under the mister, of course. 
Keeping our greater one-horned rhinos skin wet and their environment humid is very important for the health and well-being of our rhinos. Being able to provide different water sources for them to lay in is one way that we can keep the Toronto Zoo rhinos happy. As you can see, greater one-horn rhinos have an instinctive need to be in and around water. This is our latest greater one-horn rhino calf, Kieran, who in the video is only a few weeks old. Keepers wanted to give mom an opportunity to have a nice shower and were so surprised to see wallowing behaviors already present, like getting right down and rolling on his side at just a few weeks of age. So, on your next visit to the Toronto Zoo, be sure to look out for our rhino in their favorite place, in their wallow.